this is still very much a rainmaker right now as the storm continues to move north. One of the things, Jennifer, you said that I, I never even thought about um, and just kind of shocked me, landslides, as this continues to kind of go into some of the more mountainous areas. Yes, especially, you know, if you've been to the Smokies or just at western North Carolina, the Asheville area, that that is higher elevation. It is basically, you know, right on the edge of the Appalachians, the southern Appalachians. So it is a scary thought, uh, but it's just going to dump a lot of rain in those areas. And we'll take a look at Tallinn in just a second. I do want to focus on our alerts here locally because the Treasure Coast and Okeechobee County up through the Space Coast under that wind advisory. It's only till 11 a.m. The gusts are going to remain around 30 miles per hour for the morning, sustained 20 to 25. But after 11 a.m., I mean, the winds are improving. They are going to be less out there by the afternoon, especially. So at the moment, right now, Vero Beach, Fort Pierce, the sustained wind is 15 miles per hour. Not too bad, but gusts tend to be higher than that. So here hear those wind gusts at 26 miles per hour. Vero Beach, Fort Pierce, 28 in Stewart, 20 in Okeechobee. And those wind gusts, along with the winds, are going to decrease. So this is by this afternoon, gusts around 20 miles per hour. So basically showing us that finally the winds are improving, especially as we go into the weekend by Sunday. Sustained winds about five miles per hour. So becoming very light by Sunday. And here's a wide view of the southeast. So I mentioned the rain that is being pushed from Helene onto those Appalachian Mountains. Well, uh, there it is, very heavy. Helene is weakening rapidly as it rapidly moves northward. It's getting caught and absorbed into a cutoff low pressure system in the mid levels of the atmosphere. So that's why that's also a reason why Helene is weakening a lot besides the fact that it's uh, over land, but it's still going to dump heavy rainfall in those areas from Tennessee Valley out into parts of uh, the Appalachian, Southern Appalachians and the mid Atlantic. Back here at home, we're still left over with a little bit of a moisture tail. Nothing severe, thankfully, but you never want to rule it out. However, we're no longer a tornado watch. We're no longer under a flood watch. We still have though these rain bands coming through, but I will say this that throughout much of the afternoon, we'll still get sunshine warming things up to those low 90s heat advisory is in effect for all of our areas too. So it's going to be hot and steamy out there. Then by Sunday, lower rain chances.